My name is Erin. This is my first um, video on YouTube and just because I love this particular brand, I have to, I just have to make this my first video. Um, and it is going to be from Lush. Of course, I wanted just to share a few things, so be gentle, be kind. It is my first video. Um, if you have any suggestions, by all means, give them to me. And yeah, in honor of Valentine's Day, Lush has released, as I'm sure most of you know who watch Lush videos, Lush has released um, their um, Valentine's line, which is special edition only for a limited time. And there are a few things on there that I decided I just wanted to try out. So I am a big Lush fan. I will say, however, that as much as I'm a big Lush fan, I also... Um, I don't love everything all the time, so in saying that, like, uh, a lot of people I know just love pretty much anything that they can get from Lush, and I am much more um, picky about the scents that I like, so you may love something and I may not love it as much, and that's just simply because my nose is not as happy with it as maybe someone else's nose is, so I'm very sensitive to smells. Um, and. Yeah, so if I don't like something, then I probably really don't like it. Anyway, let's just get started. I didn't get a lot. They actually didn't have any of the massage bars, the special edition massage bars in, which um, the one that I was really wanting uh, from dusk till dawn. Sorry, I have the magazine right here. Um, that one, it smells of... I'll read it for you. Um, an energizing blend of stimulating and invigorating essential oils to keep you going. There are times, like Valentine's Day, when you want to make sure your partner is wide awake after a romantic massage. <laughs> a good rub down with a stimulating bar will ensure your grateful partner has plenty of vim and vigor for other activities. This gold-capped cone has an uplifting and invigorating perfume of Sicilian lemon and sweet wild orange oil to keep you going all night long. So they didn't have them actually available in the stores, but they did have one to try. Um, and since I actually work in the mall and I work like dr like diagonally a catty corner from the Lush store, which is bad for my bank account, um, so I rubbed it on and it, it smells like orange and chocolate to me. So if you um, if you've ever gotten those those I get these at Christmas from Trader Joe's, <laughs> they're like the chocolate eggs that ha that are orange, then you break them, and then you can like tear them apart and peel it like an orange. That's pretty much what it smells like to me, um, and I really like it. But they don't have them in for sale except in the gift ba baskets, and there were, I didn't want anything really other than the massage bars and gift bas baskets. I will show you what I did get. Um, we'll start with this guy. Now, um, I'm not really a perfumey scent girl, I will give you that much. Um, I tend to like scents that are sweet, but they're not overpowering. Um, I don't like scents when I walk by um, and feel like I lost a billion brain cells because of the amount of perfume that person was wearing. So, um, and no offense to them, but uh, yeah, anyway. So, perfumes, not a big fan, but... And this guy's a little bit more perfumey than I would like, but I just wanted to try him out because oftentimes the scent on here um, doesn't always smell the way that it does when you put it in the bath, um, which is what I've come to discover. Sometimes it smells better, sometimes it smells worse. So um, we're just going to... I try things out when I'm at least somewhat interested. So this guy is the first one, and he's called the X Factor. And this is one of those items that... Um, Lush just got really clever with. Let me read you, read you what this is. Um, who who knew vengeance could smell so sweet? And he smells very lavendery. Not lavendery. What am I saying? Vanilla. You definitely get the vanilla in him. But there's also this kind of lingering perfume scent. So let's find out what that is. When love isn't a factor in your Valentine's Day, it's fun to indulge your wicked streak and celebrate the cynical. Drop our little vanilla and ylang ylang man. I think that's what I was smelling into your tub and delight in watching his limbs dissolve one by one into the deep blue water until finally, finally, his little heart explodes into a thousand tiny pieces, only to be washed down the drain into nothingness. Revenge satisfied. Wow, you're an angry person. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. So, I really get the vanilla, and I kind of get the ylang-ylang. 
um, other ones that have like the, like, yeah, I can't even say that multiple times, but um, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice smell. I would say it's musky. I could see me really loving it or really not caring for it. Um, so I'm excited to try that. I love the bath bombs probably more than the bubble bars, and the only reason why that is is I love the bubble bars, but the bath bombs for some reason have tended to have stronger scents to me, um, and also to soften my skin more. So that's just been my experience. I love the bubble bars, don't get me wrong. I have one. I have multiple ones. Um, but bath bombs tend to be the way that I usually go. So that was the X Factor. And um, by the way, what I'm reading from is the Lush Times. They release these, oh, I don't even know how often. At least every time they release a new line of things. Um, and the, all their Halloween stuff, all their Halloween, all their Valentine's Day stuff is in, the, is in the back here. And then they actually have a little bit about their Easter stuff, which will be coming soon, I assume, as well, which I'm kind of excited about, too. All right, moving on. Uh, we'll go with the other bath bomb I bought. This is actually not a limited edition item for Valentine's Day. This is just something that makes sense to have on Valentine's Day, and it is one of their best, their most popular. I have not tried it yet, actually, um, so this we'll see what this is like. Um, this is Sex Bomb. Mm. Gosh, and there's... This is a hard one for me. Let me see if I can find, I'm sure it's in here. It may take me a few minutes to find it, but I will find it. Um, it is supposed to be very jasmine-y. There you are. Sex Bomb. For intimate evenings in. Inspired by the classic Tom Jones tune, our, our heady love potion features aphrodisiac jasmine and delicate ylang ylang absolute, making it an intensely romantic experience. Toss this into the tub and throw a caution to the wind. Woo! Okay. So, um, <laughs> I'm actually not the biggest fan of jasmine, and um, that's kind of why I've, I've held off on this one. Like, I'd go into the, into the shop, and I would smell it. And I don't dislike it, but I've been so overwhelmed with the jasmine before that I was always kind of like, I don't know. I really like, I think I really quite like ylang ylang. And you can, I think you can smell that in here. And it actually smells quite nice, so I really hope I like this one. And it just seemed appropriate for the holiday, because, you know, it's not really a real holiday. It's commercials and propaganda, but it's fun, it's fun nonetheless. So a good excuse to, to pamper yourself, I think. Um, the next one, this is the bubble bar that I bought. Um, and I think everybody knows what bubble bar this is. This is the Valentine's Day Lush Haul. It's going to be the Magic Mushroom Valentine. Valentine Bubble Bar. Um, Magic Mushroom, an enchanting toadstool of strawberries and cream bubbles. <clears throat> Everyone's favorite toadstool has returned. Our enormously popular Magic Mushroom Bubble Bar is back again this Valentine's Day, spreading his bubbles and soft, fruity scents everywhere he goes. His white stem contains creamy vanilla, vanillary perfume. I can never say that and is typed off with a perfectly round red top of fresh strawberries. Lay back in his enchanting waters and allow a spell of relaxation to watch over you, to wash over you. Mm, I like this. People have been telling me that the white and the pinks smell differently, but I think it smells the same. <laughs> Maybe just, this may be a little bit stronger than this, but I still think the scent is the same. Anyway, this is the cutest little thing ever. Um, and I have these. I have a pretty small bathtub, I don't have a big one, um, but I do like lots of bubbles, and I find that quartering things like this actually doesn't give me as much as I want, so I typically half them. Um, and the nice thing about bubble bars is that you can get more than one use out of these. Um, bath bombs, they're kind of a one-go situation. Um, I know that people have taken to cutting their, their bath bombs. Um, but I think it's quite messy, and I kind of just like the experience, because most of the bath bombs at Lush have some kind of surprise or experience in them with the colors and stuff, and I think, I feel like that takes away from it when I cut them, so, um, I don't do that, but I do cut my bubble bars, because I do like to, um, extend the use of them. Anyway, like I said, my nose is very sensitive, so I do a lot of smelling after I buy things. <laughs> Oh, and I, sorry, I haven't been giving you the prices here. Um, the X Factor, which was the little blue guy, was $4.95. Um, 
the Sex Bomb, which I think is one of their bigger, it's definitely one of their bigger bath bombs. It's uh, 665, and their Magic Mushroom Bubble Bar is 595. And if you split that, then obviously it's only, I don't even know about that much. Anyway, this was a pretty small haul, actually, not a lot. Um, but I did get a few other small things. Um, uh, this one is a lip scrub. And um, this is the Mint Julep Lip Scrub. And I think anybody who knows anything about Lush, oh my gosh, <laughs> knows about the lip scrubs. It's February, it's cold, and I don't live in a very dry area, but um, my lips are feeling the brunt of the coldness. So I just kind of wanted something that I could scrub my lips with that would just make me really happy. And so I got the Mint Juleps. And this just smells <clears throat> like chocolate and mint, which is amazing. I cannot wait to use that. Um, and these, they're pretty much just 100% sugar. Yeah, the number one ingredient is castor sugar. And then cold-pressed organic castor sugar. And then cold-pressed organic jojoba oh oil. <laughs> Vanilla extract. Um, Tajidis oil. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Peppermint. And something else that I can't pronounce. Lem lemonine flavor? Anyway. Um... So all that you really need to do with this, it's pretty self-explanatory, you put it on your lips, because it's almost completely 100% sugar, obviously, um, you put it on your lips, you scrub it around, and then you just lick it off. So, I see lots of people who do tutorials on this, and they use it after they brush their teeth, and I'm always sitting there thinking, cavities, you're just, you're creating cavities. <laughs> so, I do this before, I will do this before, I've never used it before, but that, the plan is to use it before I brush my teeth. Anyway, and then the very last thing I got was something that I really wanted to try. Um, I have pretty oily skin, and I think there's a little bit of a sheen right now. Anyway, um, I've been trying to find some good skincare. I was a proactive user for a very long time, and I felt the need to branch away from it, partially because of the cost, um, which just seems to be going up and up and up, partially because I've been using it for so long, and... Um, Partially because uh, it actually, my experience has been that it bleaches my sheets and my towels. Um, and so I would only ever be able to really use white sheets and white towels. And that got really old. And it's been old for like 12 years. So um, I decided I wanted to find a, a um, cheaper, slightly more natural <laughs> um, it, it, a skincare system because there's a lot of chemicals in Proactive even though it worked really well for me but I have found a regime that's working for me however the one thing I have not found is a good moisturizer um, for the nighttime times I'm using this awful <laughs> oil of oil stuff that's just like it's gross anyway so I went in there and I'm reading a lot about their moisturizers the moisturizers are pretty pricey um, and, but I really wanted to try something, so I asked for a sample, and she gave me a sample of Vanishing Cream. Um, I don't really know how to describe the scent. I didn't know what I was going to expect it to smell like. It's very, I think there might be tea tree oil in that. I don't, let me do, let me find it, because there's. It's, um, it's a sharp scent, and everybody on YouTube says they're horrible at describing scents, and I'm probably not much of an, an exception, but I would say that it's a sharper, tart scent than anything else, and sometimes when I think of tea tree oil, I think of sharp scents, like it's not one of those ones that you would be like, um, goodness gracious, why is it so hard to find, um, that you would just be like, oh my gosh, I love the scent of it. There it is. Yeah. Vanishing cream is really expensive. <laughs> um, why did we name our latest, lightest moisturizer vanishing cream? For its magical ability to disappear into your skin. Oily or blemish prone faces find salvation in our witch hazel, lavender, and honey moisturizer. That's the, that's the witch hazel. Um, it's strong. Witch hazel, if you've ever smelt it, is extremely strong. I actually use a witch hazel toner. Um, and it's definitely one of those scents that you're not like, gosh, I love the smell of that. It's kind of more like, ooh, can I bear the smell of that? And that's kind of similar to this. I mean, you get the lavender in there too, definitely. It's not just the 
um, witch hazel. And I guess the honey adds a little bit of sweetness to it. It's not a great scent, I'll be honest with you, but we'll see what it does to my skin. Um, this is just a sample, obviously. The reason I wanted a sample is because a normal size pot of vanishing cream is $42.95. Anyway, that is it for my Lush haul, guys. Oh, the mint juleps was uh, mm, $9.95. Interesting. Um, I do know that Lush is quite expensive, particularly in the States. I know some multiple people on YouTube will actually order from the UK because they find that the brands are, or the brand is much cheaper there even after you've paid for shipping. I have had people dispute that with me, so I don't know if it's true. I haven't tried it myself, but if you're trying to find something and you're willing to pay a little bit more for shipping, but maybe less in terms of the exchange and all of that, um, that might be a good place to try it out. Uh, if you have any questions, just write them in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this and you want to see more things from Lush. I may actually do a Lush collective, no, a Lush, a Lush collection, um, which isn't very big right now, other than this stuff. I went through most of my holiday stuff, but we'll see what else comes up down the road. I hope you guys are having a good night, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.